Hello, I'm David. Hi, this is Tracy. And we're Loops and Lap Bars, and today we're here at Flamingo Land Resort. Um, looking forward to an exceptional day. It's our first visit this year. Uh, looking forward to getting back on Sik and Mumbo and uh, Kamali and such. Um, and hopefully getting you your first ride on uh, Cliffhanger. Yes. Um, mm -hmm. We'll uh, you know, be going, uh, going around the park, documenting what we're doing, and hopefully having a wonderful day. It's our very first one of these, and I've I think I've picked the right park to do it at. It is our home park, and I am looking forward to seeing what the end result is. So, you know, let's uh, let's go and have an adventure. Yay! sick and after some lengthy delays we finally got going we did uh, issues were that there was they, did, they didn't quite know which restraint wasn't locking properly um, but once we got through with that it was absolutely fine but don't like the heartline rolls I think the heartline rolls like the Corsa so they're completely unnecessary yeah um, like I don't like being completely out of my seat upside down and then you have to do it like five times, it's it's not fun. Um, but they don't take anything away from it, but at the same time they don't add anything either, no. I don't feel. Uh, um, I'd sooner be going, uh, yeah, coming out of the uh, the cocks, who was doing the turnaround and then going to you know Bunny Hills or something like that. But that side is still still number five it's still you know top five coaster yeah me. still um, it's still a comfortable ride anyway and that ride today was comfortabler than the last one i had at least yeah. i don't know about you um, yeah yeah so i don't i don't know to see a difference but that's only my second ride um but still front row so i don't know what it's like anywhere else on the train because i've only ever done front rows um, and then from there i uh, went on to hero um and hero's still a rattle box um but I don't think it's as bad as everyone makes out. I would, I'd, I'd ride here day in, day out over like the Grand National and Infusion. Um, obviously, it's not, it's not fair to compare it to Grand National because Grand National is decades older. Um, but Infusion, I think, is very similar sort of age, and Infusion really does hurt. Whereas yeah. I find that Hero just kind of rattles you about like, and that's about it. You don't really get much banging. Um, yeah, I've. I think today's ride on Hero for me is the worst I've had on there. Like, it's, I don't usually come off Hero feeling ill, but I feel properly ill after today. Well, this, a bit uh, battered around, and uh, it doesn't help that I'm a slight height. I'm the height in between a bar, which really doesn't help because um, I'm either too too into to, the ride. Just to explain or, what that means, uh, the, 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 as you get onto the ride, there's a, like a, a series of four steps. Um, and for me, I can stand on either the, I think it's the bottom step or the third step. When I get on, I stand on the third step, restraint comes down and then I drop down to the third, to the bottom step. Whereas you, are you top step and you can't sit on the second step. Yes, yeah, yeah uh, I struggle. If I'm on uh, the but second step, it's too far down. And I did like today and my head rattles everywhere. If I'm on the top one, then I still rattle, but not as much and then it's not on it's not comfortable anywhere else uh, so. but i did find it I, I still find it a lot easier uh, to uh, force yourself into the restraint and then as soon as you, you, you're uh, you're horizontal step down so that's a bit of a and a bit of advice for hero
well with Adagon Kamali and I enjoyed it. Um, better than last time, uh, still a bit of a head shaker for me. The overhead restraints absolutely bloody ridiculous because if you're a short ash you can't see a damn thing. Um, yeah, I could agree with you. <laughs> when I first put it down I was like, ooh, where's my vision gone? Uh, because those, the, the, the collars need replacing, they really do need uh, something like Flight of the Pterosaurs so, yeah. um, uh, restraints on us, but that, that would fix Infusion's problem, that would fix any of the, uh, the SLC's problems. Uh, but wasn't shaky, I don't think it wasn't uncomfortable for me. No, no, it wasn't too uncomfortable. Um, yeah, yeah, it was an all right ride. Yeah, uh, pretty decent. Though the um, camera, uh, for once, the camera was actually taking photos, but the camera was put in such a place that if you're on the um, left-hand side yeah. of the train, you're all right, but if you're on the uh, the right-hand side, you can't see anything apart from yeah. just some hands. Exactly, yeah. <laughs> um, yeah, it looked a bit disembodied. <laughs> um, so, yeah, Kamali, good ride. Um, still keeps it, so still probably keeps the same place as I put it in, in my list. Um, definitely the best SLC in the country. Um, so, I've got more much more to add on that, Kamali, decent. So I just had some dinner. Uh, I've had ch some cheesy fries and you had... I had dirty fries. Because uh, they didn't have the pizza fries that you nope. wanted. No, which no. is weird considering, as you said... That They've they, got all the ingredients for pizza. <laughs> uh, all the ingredients for pizza, but they can't put them on fries. But yeah, it's one of those things, isn't it? Um, I paid uh, £4.50 for mine and I don't feel ripped off. No, I paid six quid for mine, and to be fair, it's a nice little filler up lunch. It's yeah, it not too right. heavy. Uh, absolutely fine. Yeah. Um, possibly later on, uh, have something a bit more substantial. Um, but yeah, they were they were they were okay. Um, yeah, I don't think there's really much more to add. You'll probably see yeah. it on screen at the moment. I've done some videos of the very interesting food that we've had there, but yeah. All right, nothing sparkling. Yeah. Probably better than the stuff that we've been getting at Alton Towers lately, though. So. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Apart from the freak shakes at Towers, they were really good. Uh, <laughs> yeah, but uh, that's something for Towers. Uh, yeah. We're still at Flamingo Land today, so uh, I think next we're going to be ha probably having a wander around the zoo. Go um, find the elusive tigers. Yeah, see if we can finally find the tigers. Uh, been coming here since 2017 and not seen them once. So, yeah, let's see if we can see some tigers. Will there be any tigers? No tigers! We might not have tigers, but we have got camels and cows. Can't entirely show what kind of cows. Relaxed cows, but cows. As I say, we've been coming here since 2017. Um, every single time we've yet to see the tigers, and that must be seven or eight visits or something like that so where are the tigers we know they sleep for 18 to 20 hours a day but if you've seen the flamingo land tigers put it in the comments below <laughs> there's one thing that flamingo land definitely does have that a lot of other parks don't is this cracking view across all the park you can see pretty much every major coaster from here there's obviously Kamali, Jumbo Jumbo Hero, Velocity and Sick. Then you've got Twister Saurus just down here. Um, as well as great views over uh, the sort of Serengeti area. Where you've got the, uh, the Oryxes I think they are. As well as Zebras. And just over in the back, some giraffes as well. So I've been coming here, as, as I've mentioned loads of times, um, quite a many number, number of years. Uh, not once have we done voodoo. No, uh, no we haven't. Mainly because I'm not a fan of pirate ships. I wouldn't say I'm the biggest <laughs> fan, but uh, you know, ticking off the, uh, um, the Bilbo attraction. So yeah, we've done that today. They weren't too bad at all. I think no. I'm warming to them a little bit. Yeah, nice little ride. Um, but yeah, you could definitely do it with some music or something like that because it just feels a bit sort of soulless, but other than that, Nice little design ride. Um, then once we've done that, we went on Mumbo Jumbo, which is one of my favourite rides here. It's excellent fun. Uh, yeah, we did a back row today, and I did an outs uh, an outsidey seat as opposed to an insidey seat. Not a fan. <laughs> uh, just for some context, there, uh, Tracy always seems to feel like she, she doesn't want to be stuck on the outside of a train 
Despite the fact that Mumbo is a two across seating um, uh, train, so it doesn't matter where you sit, you're going to be on the outside at some point. Um, but yeah, a uh, little bit of a rattle box, uh, but still brilliant fun. Uh, really, really do enjoy Mumbo Jumbo. It's, um, uh, it, 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 does, it doesn't hold back. Yeah. Uh, it just, you know, as soon as you get onto the lift hill, even, lift hill rockets you up there, then you're thrown around the first corner into that uh, 112 degree drop, and it's just wicked good fun. Uh, but at this point I would like to point out that, as you can see there, the photo booth is shut, which is a bit of a shame because I was, you know, since seeing it open earlier on, I was looking forward to getting photos on, on uh, Mumbo Jumbo and like Kamali and such, but as I mentioned yeah. earlier on with Kamali, the, the camera's in a wrong, the wrong place for that. Mumbo Jumbo was taking photos, but we can't buy them, yeah. which is a bit of a shame. It is, it is a shame indeed. Yeah. Um, but I think next is probably going to be Cliffhanger, it's your first go on Cliffhanger. Yeah. Um, one of the only drop towers, uh, shot and drop towers in the country. Uh, I've done it multiple times, I really actually enjoy it. It was the first one, terrified me, and since then I've, uh, I've loved them since. So hopefully you're going to be the same. Yep, fingers crossed. <laughs> uh, <laughs> and I'll tell you what it's like after we've been on that. Oh, so a lot's happened since uh, last update, but uh, we did get, in, get on Cliffhanger, pretty much straight on sort of thing. Uh, I really like Cliffhanger, I think it's definitely the best um, uh, drop type, uh, drop tower type ride in the UK, purely because it launches you and then drops you. It's really, really good fun. I enjoyed it. Um, yeah, fun little ride for my first time. Um, scary, taller than it actually does look. Um, and so I'd, I'd say it's probably a bit taller than Ice Blast. I think they're exactly the same height. But, yeah. <laughs> but I think Ice Blast doesn't normally reach the top, whereas, you know, I think the difference between that and, say, uh, Volcanic Eruption or Volcano, I think it's called now at Fancy Island, Ice Blast and Cliffhanger. Cliffhanger takes you all the way to the top, top. holds you there and then drops. Yeah. Uh, once we've done Cliffhanger, though, we then... Uh, with toilet break. Uh, and I'd just like to interject about the toilets. Everyone, I think everyone mentions it, but I just want to mention as well, that the Flamingo Land toilets in the hub, <laughs> the yeah. best themed toilets in the country. Yeah. Um, yeah, they're they're all themed around motor racing. The sinks are tyres. They've got uh, petrol pumps for taps. Uh, all nice and clean and tidy. And it's just a right laugh. Um, but yeah, once we'd done that, we then moved on to um, Flamingo, Flamingo F1, F1 <laughs> um, which is their little uh, sort of self-driving car ride, and it's all right. But if there's ever a queue, it takes ages to get through the queue. Um, and I mean, you had problems with your car, didn't you? It does, yeah. One of the tracks, it doesn't pick up to quite a while until you're out, out of the station, which isn't a problem. Um, going around corners, it could probably do a bit of power steering. <laughs> yeah, I mean, they don't, but, you know, I, obviously yeah. I drive and they, you know, there's no power steering on them at all, but you know, it's, it's a kid, you know, it's kids ride, so it's a bit of fun. Uh, yeah. but, but it is, it's a fun little ride and I like it, I enjoy uh, it. It's, it's, yeah, it's fun, uh, but don't go on there expecting racing. You, uh, you know, if you're getting two cars side by side, chances are one of them will stop without you even trying anything. Uh, I was in the central lane and as you go underneath the, uh, the tunnel under the track, mine just stops there and they always seem to stop there for some reason. I'm not entirely sure why, I think I might have to space the cars out. Um, but yeah, I my, I didn't stop apart from that point where you keep, kept having trouble. Yeah. Um, so yeah, that was Flamingo 1. So next stop was actually the Zoom on a rail and we walked through, um, oh, uh, down the path that takes you to uh, River Ride and I didn't realise that they'd got cheetahs there. Um, and both of them were out, both of them you know, just sort of mincing around and whatnot. It was nice to see because I've, I've seen the cheetahs years ago, but that was back when they used to be down by where the hippos are now at the back of the park. Um, but I think it was you that spotted them, weren't you? Yeah, yeah, cheetahs <laughs> were out. And spotted them. Ha ha. <laughs> um, yes, cheetahs were out. The tortoises were also out doing laps around the pen as well. <laughs> yeah, it's a tortoise mile an hour. Uh, but yeah, onto uh, the zoo monorail. And it's a nice little ride, but apart from uh, going around this, the. Is it, baboons. Is it the baboons on the uh, Japanese macaques? It's uh, baboons. Uh, the monkeys. Uh, there's not really much to see, 
uh, which is a theme going into some of the other rides that we're going to talk about in a second. Um, but yeah, it's a nice little sit down. Doesn't always run, but obviously today it was running. We got on it, just had a bit of a, uh, a yeah. nice sit down sort of thing. So yeah, anything yep. you want to add? Uh, no, no, no. It's a good little ride. I like it. It's all right, isn't it? <laughs> So moved on to the tractor ride, which is in the same sort of vein as the car ride in that there's not an awful lot to look at. Um, you can tell that the tractor ride is supposed to run parallel to some uh, some animal exhibits. Uh, there are a solitary rabbit, which yeah. is in, in one of the, uh, the pens next to the, the ride. And it does go past two goats and there's supposedly some sheep there. Um, but I don't know if the sheep that we saw were supposed to be in the same pen because they didn't yeah. look like. But I, anyway, um, other than that, there was nothing else. It would have been, you know, really cool to have. Uh, yeah. Actually, it's, I'm thinking, thinking out loud. Um, you know, boards on how farming and whatnot works in the UK, or theming it up like Pol uh, Polton's Park's Trekking Tractors does. I think it would be you know, a really good tool for like for education for our purposes, um, Clarkson's Farm esque, if you will. Yeah. Um, gives you an opportunity to see you know uh, information about farming and such. Um, same with uh, Wacky Races. There's not much to look at, but yeah, they're nice, both nice sit downs. There's nothing uh, explicitly wrong with them or anything like that. Um, but yeah, it would be nice to have something to look yeah. at. Wouldn't it? Yeah. Yeah, it would. Yeah. Um, but <laughs> comparing uh, trekking tractors to uh, the, the tractor ride here is uh, uh, it's probably not really fair. Yeah, no, it's <laughs> not fair, I don't think. Uh, next up, we will be at Mischief Manor. Right, so yeah, next we did Mischief Manor. Now, I like me a little good dark ghost train. I'm quite of a ghost train aficionado. Um, and I like Mischief Manor, but it is old, it is showing its age. It does need a little bit of work. I feel like the cars are meant to move, so you see stuff on both sides of the track. Yeah, it's just on, um, on from that. When you get onto the, onto the cars, the cars are, instead of them facing forwards and you're getting in from the side, they're angled and you're getting, if you think of it like, like a clock, you're getting at like 10 o'clock and the car stays in that orientation throughout the journey. So you're always, instead of going forwards, you're always sat that way and the car moves like that. Um, and it, it's, it, as you say, it feels like they should be turning or something like that because if you look behind you, there are things to see. Yeah, um, which is a real shame because it's a real nice ride. It's a fun ride. It's a bit of a twist in that they're essentially... The, it's an it's a mansion full of mischief and and essentially fart jokes, but it it's brilliant. It's little fun and it needs just that little bit of investment, I think, just to sort of bring it back to what it was when it first went in. Yeah, uh, yeah. Um, I think the the whole idea with it being um, the uh, kids' versions of Dracula and uh, Frankenstein and the Mummy and things like that. I think it's quite a uh, sort of novel idea. Uh, but you look at that and then you compare it to the likes of, say, uh, Legoland's um, Haunted House, House Monster, Monster Party. Party. Uh, and they target the same audience, but Monster Party is just so much more fun. Yeah. Um, despite the fact that you know, it's Drac and it's, uh, you know, they're all the adult monsters as opposed to having the kid vari variants. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's, it's fun. Yeah, I and mean, say the UV is a different thing because there's only, to my knowledge, one other ride that could be classed as similar, and that's the Ghost Train esque one that's in Oakwood. Um, oh, Spooky got, 3D. That's got a lot, it's a bit more kid orientated and a bit more ultraviolet. Yeah, the Spooky um, 3D was definitely pants, whereas that's not yeah. quite levels of Spooky 3D. Some of the effects weren't working, but it does rely heavily on static scenes with the occasional animatronic that's bathed in, uh, in UV, light. UV light. Yeah, um, so it, it does pop. It is, uh, you know, there, there is some nice set dressing and stuff there, but other than that, could do with some work. Yeah, and that was mischief. Yeah.
And there we go, that's Flamingo Land done for the day. It is indeed. Yeah. It's been a nice day today. It has. I'm going to, uh, on the drive home, I think go properly in depth, the car's over there, oh, yeah. uh, <laughs> properly in depth into uh, uh, park operations and just general waffling about the park. But uh, I've enjoyed it. Yeah, I've enjoyed today as well. It's been nice. Yeah, um, especially for an impromptu one. And I, yeah. uh, hopefully this is... Um, you know, uh, the start of the, the things to come with regards to doing these vlogs. Um, no idea if it's going to turn out any good until I get to my computer. Mm. So, but uh, yeah, let's get on the road. Bye.